So the focus today at the cars and coffee is the Mercedes-Benz Series W201. It's a Mercedes-Benz 190. D for diesel or E for the petrol or gasoline one. You can see some beauties here. There are tons of them. As you can see, here are some more. And this is not yet everything. Because take a look over there. Lots and lots of W201. I'm not going to show you all of them because they are too many. Um, okay. Series 201 is also called the Baby Benz because it was the smallest Mercedes Benz car back in the time when it came out. Beautiful cars, in my opinion. But now let's show you something else. This here is a Spitfire 1500. I think it's a Triumph. At least it's some British. Or one British to be more precise. Watch that here. British Leland. Beautiful. Very, very beautiful. This is a Mercedes-Benz SLK, the first generation. It's in a very mint condition, I must say. Because these are also known to be rust buckets. Ah, it's very nice looking. Here's something for the Audi lovers, Audi 100 event, Audi Coupe Type 81, Audi Coupe Type 85, this must be a Quattro. The 190 gang is still waiting to get in, probably very difficult at this point of time now because it's very full. I also didn't expect that there will be so many of them. Chevy Corvette C1. Very beautiful. Take a look at this nice red interior. Volkswagen Bug or Cafe as we call it in Germany, a cabriolet or convertible Porsche 356A, also a cabriolet, an old bug. Here we have a Borgwald Isabella, it's called to be one of the most beautiful cars. In Germany. 
this is another Porsche 356. No compare it to the Porsche. Volvo Triumph. A Roadster R107 Mercedes Benz SL. Sneaky piggy to the inside. Red interior. Very nice. It's a two seater, so that's why it's called a Roadster. Again, the 911 from Porsche. Beautiful car. Triumph. Spitfire, if I'm right. I think it's the same like the green one. Triumph here, you can see it. The Volvo already disappeared. So here we have a Jaguar, 4.2 liters, it's an F-Type. Look at this very, very long hood. Audi gang is coming. So here we have two Audis. So the left one is a coupe type 81 and the right one is called the Quattro type 85. You can tell it by the wheel arches. As you can see, the Quattro has wider wheel arches. The interior is actually the same, except all this extra sporty stuff here, but, well... Oh, I like these wheels. Yes, and this one has five screws and this one has only four. Now going to the back. Okay, well, as you can also see at the license plate, and this is UQ called the Urquattro. And there's something else, how you can tell it. Well, looking underneath, I'm trying it. Oops. See the exhaust here? Very different. Okay, 